Psalm 46, verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. For just a few minutes of your time, I, I, I want to talk just a little bit about being still, knowing, meditating. You know, I, I, I've got to be honest with you. There are a lot of times in my life where I, I'm very, very fast moving. My life seems a little bit out of control. We, we have four children. And because of that, that means a lot of times we are on the road going from thing to thing. I, I have commitments with my job. I have deadlines. And you know, sometimes it's really easy to let days, weeks, and even months go by without really stopping and being still and knowing. So I want to encourage you. I realize the irony in this situation, but I, I realize that you are probably watching this through some type of, of phone, c computer. But here's what I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to turn the screens off. I, I want to encourage you to go outside and to be still. To, to spend some time with your creator. Spend some time in prayer. Meditation. Think about what he has done for you. Because I'll be honest, you know, I think the, the fast paced world that we live today, sometimes it's kind of easy to get caught up in that current and, and we let days and weeks go by and we don't really stop and reflect on whose we are and, and what that really means. I want to read to you Psalm chapter 8. If you have a Bible, let me encourage you to, to open it up there. Psalm 8. I'm going to read the entire psalm, and I, I hope you'll think about these words, you'll meditate on these words. In fact, maybe you can go find a, a quiet place outside later today. You can pick up a Bible, and you can read these same exact words. Psalm chapter 8. Listen to what the psalmist said. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants. You have ordained strength because of, of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon, the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visit him. For you have made him a little lower than the angels. And you have crowned him with glory and with honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. And you have put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen. Even the beast of the field. The birds of the air. And the fish that pass through the sea that pass through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Let me invite you. If you haven't found a, a, a moment to just be still and know lately, then consider this a challenge to, to do that in the next 24 hours. Just find a, a quiet place, go and reestablish your relationship with your creator. I hope you'll think on these things.